my name is Tara, and I'm not going to, you know, do my big background because you can Google me. I'm at Tara on Twitter. All my links are on there. Um, because my talk today is really about you guys, and it's about LA. And it start for me. It started uh, when I came to LA in uh, 2008 from San Francisco. I was working at a tech startup there called Top Spin Media. Uh, there, we, we were both in San Francisco and in Santa Monica, and they were working with musicians on direct to fan, helping indie bands, you know, be able to reach their fans and uh, without a, a label or manager or whatever. <coughs> so I was all happy in San Francisco. I'd actually just moved back to San Francisco after living in Seattle, and um, you know, I was getting in the groove in the mission, and it was wonderful. And then um, I met my husband Sean. And he lived in L.A. And he said, I'm not moving to San Francisco. Like, no way. If we're going to make this thing work, you have to move to Los Angeles. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I am not moving to L.A. That is the last place on earth I ever, ever even considered living. So um, he kind of he said, well, just come down and check it out and, you know, get to know it a little bit. Um, he was living in Silver Lake at the time. And... Um, so I got to know Silver Lake, and I said, yeah, this is okay, but I want to live at the beach. So we ended up at the beach. I transferred down to uh, the Top Spoon office in Santa Monica, and that was fine. I was having a good time. And that's when I started to get to know the sort of tech startup scene here in Los Angeles because there's a lot of tech startups in Santa Monica. And so I said, oh, that's cool. You know, there's some stuff going on here. I had some friends at Hulu, and um, I guess Mahalo is kind of over yeah. there, and so I was getting to know that crowd a little bit. Uh, so then um, my kid was born in 2010, and I kind of I left, you know, working for about a year. We traveled and stuff like that, and then I came back, and I thought, what am I going to do? Like, should I do a tech startup, or you know, I, I didn't really know. And that's when I started delving into, you know, what's really happening, you know, in the scene here in LA. And um, a couple months ago, I wrote this blog post um, on Forbes with some title like, you know, LA is going to totally outpace the Silicon Valley and the tech, st tech startup scene. And, you know, yay, it's going to happen. I didn't really have any data to back this up. I just was a believer. <laughs> you know, I'm like, if I live here, this is going to happen, you know? So, cause, you know, it's kind of, it's, you know, self-interest. Like, I want it to happen if I'm going to do a tech startup here. And so I wrote it, and I didn't really think anything of it after that. And all of a sudden, I started getting, like, emails and tweets and people wanting to, like, connect with me over LinkedIn and some people totally wanting to call me out on my shit. And I was like, damn, like, okay, I got to do something with this. You know, something's happening here. And, you know, so I started meeting people for lunch and for coffee and just understanding what, you know, their, their business was in tech. And it's like, this is, like, much bigger than I realized when I actually wrote that post. You know, I was kind of hoping for it, but I realized, yeah, it, it, you know, there's a lot of stuff happening here. And I started thinking about it in my head, like on a map. I'm like, okay, where are all these, these startups, you know, and, and where's the, where are the VCs and where are the angels? And so I thought, okay, I should, I should make a map of this because, you know, there's a couple of maps here and there if you look online, but there, there isn't really anything that sort of gives you that sort of broad overview of like where everybody is that's not in Santa Monica or as they like to call it, the Silicon Beach. And so... Um, for this talk, I, you know, I said, okay, yeah, maybe I'll talk about this. And then I found out that I'm not allowed to use like PowerPoint or anything. So um, I have this board <laughs> here. Um, and Sean helped me do it because he's better at drawing lines than me. Um, so, you know, we've got all those sort of major freeways. <laughs> we've got Porn Valley at the top. So now you know. And that little purple... Um, pin there is kind of where we are right now. And so um, in order for me to continue my talk, I need a fabulous assistant. Oh, there's a fabulous assistant back there. Come on up. I can't really hold the board and do what I need to do. So which, what's your name, fabulous assistant? I'm Jory. Hello, Jory. OK. Are you <laughs> So Jory is an LA native, and I figured we should have an LA native figure out what's happening with this map here because uh, we're going to be sticking some stuff up on here. Can you hold it up a little? And his arms are going to get tired. <laughs> Thank you, Jory. All right, so I, I wanted to get an idea. Um, who here 
uh, works at a tech startup. And when I now you keep your hands up, but I just want to sort of define it a little bit the way I define it, which is that you know you're pre-IPO, you haven't done any mergers or acquisitions. Um, you have a repeatable business model, so it's not just a project at this point, you know. You have some customers and stuff, so keep your hand up high. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, and you guys are in L.A. If you're not from L.A., put your hand down. <laughs> All right, that's, that's still good. Okay, so um, while I'm talking here, we're going to pass around these um, little pink Post-it stickies. And what I'd love for you to do is put the name of your company and um, the city that's, so if you're in Santa Monica or Silver Lake or Glendale or whatever, ah, ah, then um, write it on here. And then we'll collect them and, and we'll put them up on the board. So I have like one pen. I should probably get another one. We'll do it that way. Just pass it back. Um, okay. You what? Are you stealth? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh. We may have to learn about that if we have time. Okay. So, um, <laughs> um, I listen to this podcast. It's uh, out of Stanford. I think it's Stanford Entrepreneurial Podcast. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with that. And I'm sorry for Ripley, this is an experiment, and I blame Ian Rogers at Topspin who brings Lucinda to his talks, and we weren't sure if this would work. Um, so I listen to this, this podcast, it's great. They have speakers on there, you know, like Jack Dorsey, and they have the CTO of America, you know, that reports to, to um, Obama. And yesterday I was listening to Brad Feld, who is one of the investors at the Foundry Group in Boulder. And he was talking about how he made this, you know, really, you know, life-changing decision, which was that he was going to stick it out in Boulder. So even though he was an investor and lots of investors are in the Valley, he was going to stick it out in Boulder. And he actually convinced some of his partners to move to Boulder and, and, and stick it out there with him. And he said, you know, I know a lot of people say, you know, you really need to be in Silicon Valley to, to do a tech startup. But I'm going to use Boulder as an experiment. I'm going to see how we can have a really great tech community here in Boulder and have great startups that you know have great exits and all this other stuff. And he said, you know, when I'm thinking and I've been thinking about this and some of the stuff that I, I have realized is that, you know, it's about community. You know, you have to really get together with the people that are in the tech startup world, and not just people who are, you know, with the tech backgrounds of like artists and everything else too. Um, but and it's not just about networking events. So it's not just about, okay, we're gonna go have drinks tonight. It's about making stuff. Right? So, you know, whether you go to a hacker space or a hackathon or whatever, it's like getting together and make stuff is, is really, really important. And, um, and we know that actually some tech startups have actually come out of hacker spaces, right? Like Pinterest came out of Hacker Dojo in Mountain View, and MakerBot came out of NYC Resistor. So, we know like cool stuff is happening in that way. And so he said, you know, we've got to get together and make stuff. And, um, he also said, you know, we have to be really supportive and promote each other, right? And so in LA, I think that there's some of that happening, especially on the west side. So if you go on to like the Silicon Beach Facebook group, people are always, you know, propping each other up and supporting each other and all this kind of stuff. But I think we could probably do a little bit more of that. And I mean, like, look at, we have 13 million people in LA County <coughs> spread over this huge space. You know, we have little cities within our big, big city here, and we have, you know, it takes a long time to get from Snoop Dogg, you know, down to where the rocket ships are being made. So we have to think a lot about community. Uh, so I thought, so I, that's part of like what I was thinking about when I had all these people pinging me after I wrote that post was, how do we, how do we do that in LA when we're so far apart and it's so hard to, you know, get together and you know, bump shoulders in the coffee shops and, you know, have those conversations. And I don't have, you know, the answers, but hopefully you guys do. But I think, you know, what Brad Feld was saying in Boulder was, you know, getting together and making stuff. So the other thing I was thinking about is the money thing, right? Like there's, there, a lot of people are like, well, you know, there's no investments in, in LA. I think in the first three quarters of 2011, there's $300 million in tech investments in LA, which is 
not as much as New York or the Silicon Valley. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't have money here. So I wanted to kind of start putting up, you know, where are some of the major VCs? Um, I'll give this to you. Where are they located on, on the map? So we have the Tech Coast Angels, and they invest actually in all of SoCal. So you can kind of put them on the blank space over here. Um, and we have the Pasadena Angels. They're in Pasadena, and they, they invest anybody that you have to actually be headquartered in headquartered in LA. So they don't they don't invest outside of LA. And then I think the majority of the rest of them are um, like GRP is in Century City. That's Mark Suster. And then I think a lot of the other ones are in Santa Monica proper. So these guys invest, you know, starting at you know maybe twenty five, fifty thousand dollars up to ten million dollars. So it's not like they're just handing out you know, small chunks of change. And in fact, um, GRP, where Mark Suster is at, um, you know, they've, they've invested in True Car, which a lot of people are talking about, Goji, which is Text Plus, um, Maker Studio, you know, so they're, they're doing some interesting in investments. Yeah, you can keep sticking them up there. I think the rest are all Santa Monica. Um, so that kind of gives you some idea about like where some of the major uh, investors are. And then on top of that, we have tons of accelerators and incubators. And I don't have all of them here. There's a, there's a site, I think it's called Startup Hen, that um, is starting to list all of the accelerators and incubators and stuff like that. So they're listed here. Now one of the OG um, accelerators is Idea Lab that Bill Gross started. And so they're up in Pasadena, I believe as well. It's Pasadena, Pasadena right? Yeah, and so, you know, they, Overture came out of that, and I think Overture became Google AdSense, I think. Okay, yeah. So, but, you know, Overture is a big deal, and then City Search was another one that came out of Idea Lab. So, you know, you can go on there, and they have all these different um, companies that are, are at Idea Lab right now. I mean, I've heard Bill Gross talk a couple times, and he said he loves that, you know, all these tech startups are. Um, you know, he can go easily go and talk to each of them in, these, in the same space, and he's done some really cool stuff. I think he's really into solar right now is his big thing. Um, so, you know, then there's a couple other ones that are doing, people are talking about science right now that just started in Santa Monica, and I think it was one of the um, guys from MySpace, this MySpace CEO, I believe, started science. They're doing some interesting things. Um, I was trying to think if there's one else that I want to talk about. Um, oh, I know that IOLA is in is in Hollywood now. They've been pinging everybody, including like uh, this researcher I work with at UC Irvine. She's like, why why is this incubator calling me up to come hang out? I don't really understand that. Um, but they're trying to get out there, and that's great. So that kind of gives you an idea. You know, if you're looking at the map. You know, where are all the people who have the money? They're giving the money out, and like I said, this is just a you know. A subset of, of the total. So definitely there's a large collection on the west side, but you know, we're spread out on in other parts of LA too. Um, so are you guys familiar with Business Insider? You know that? So they do this top 100 list of um, the most valuable tech startups. And we actually have some of those guys here in uh, LA. Um, the first one that I'll talk about is LegalZoom. You guys know LegalZoom, right? If you don't know LegalZoom. Anybody not know LegalZoom? I don't have, okay. Oh, you don't know? Really? You guys, come on, really? <laughs> okay, so LegalZoom basically lets you create legal docs on your own online. So you don't have to go get a lawyer. So it's kind of like life-changing, right? Like you can go get a divorce, I guess, right? You can go get your online, <laughs> online divorce docs and get that done. I don't know why that came up first. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably. Um, oh, so I, I um, formed a company using LegalZoom, and now I keep getting, you know, mail from them all the time after we tried to dissolve it. I don't know how to get them to stop sending me mail. But anyway, um, <laughs> maybe it's uh, I should start another one. Okay, so they started in '99. Their value valuation is at 800 million dollars, and they made uh, 250 million dollars in 2011. And they're located in Glendale. 
Now, something interesting about LegalZoom, do you guys know that one of the founders, Robert Shapiro, you guys know Robert Shapiro? You recognize that? But the, yeah, the, the main defense lawyer for OJ, okay? So I had no idea. I'm like, that is rad, okay? So <laughs> him and this guy, Brian Lee, also co-founded Shoe Dazzle, okay? Shoe Dazzle is also on this business insider list. They started in 2009. So the, the interesting thing about Shoe Dazzle is that um, they have Kim Kardashian as one of the founders. And she's, I think, their, their lead fashion stylist. And for $39.95 a month, you get a pair of shoes delivered to your door based on her style, I guess. <laughs> I haven't signed up. I don't know that my shoes would you know, be something that she would think is stylish. Um, <laughs> So they're valued at $280 million, and they made $70 million in 2011, okay? Now, I thought, you know, because the founders, you know, in LegalZoom and everything that, you know, they have are in Glendale, that Shoe Dazzle would be in Glendale. And the reason I thought this was because Kim Kardashian has said that she wants to be a mayor of Glendale. So I'm like, oh, Shoe Dazzle must be in Glendale. But no, Shoe Dazzle is actually, sadly, in Santa Monica. So she might want to reconsider that. Um, eHarmony, they've been around since 2000. They're valued at $800 million. They made $300 million in 2011. But what I think is more interesting about eHarmony is this. Um, every day, 542 members, or like roughly 300 couples, get married because they met on eHarmony. Every day, 300 couples get married that met on eHarmony. That's an amazing stat. That's life-changing stuff. Right? I mean, on top of that, you know, everybody's uh, interested in their, um, their algorithm. You know, everybody's like, okay, I'm really interested in your matching algorithm. They have fantastic scientists, and so you hear a lot about different companies taking advantage of that, including one called Trip Trotting, who matches people who are traveling around the world, and um, they're at, uh, I think they got some funding out of GRP. And there's Rubicon Project. They've been around since 07, and I think they do some, like, online advertising stuff. And then um, there's Beachman. They're another one. They're lower on the list. I think they're number 88. They're valued at 150 million. Better Works. You guys familiar with Better Works and Paige Craig? So he's, you know, pretty well known in the tech startup scene. He uh, has uh, pretty fun parties on the beach in Marina Del Rey. Uh, He's really, really loved by VCs and accelerators. Dave McClure did this, uh, he led this panel with a bunch of accelerators and incubators in LA and Paige's name came up all the time. So the, the one that, um, can anybody guess what the top LA tech company is that they, they listed on Business, in, Business Insider? Hulu. Now we know Hulu's been in the news lately, right? People are pissed off at Hulu, something about now you have to prove that you have cable subscription um, in order to use Hulu or something like that. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, I, try, I have friends that work there, so I always like, try to be cool, but yeah, they, they're annoying me all the time every day. So, but they've been around since 2007, valuation at 1.5 billion, they um, made around 500 million last year. But they share that, I think, with like Disney and NBC and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, so that's where our top business insider companies are on the map, just to, to give you an idea. Now, what, what are you, we're in Malibu up here, huh? <laughs> we could just stick them in the water, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that gives you that idea. Um, I'm just gonna give these to, to you, Jory, to start posting on there. So here's some tech startups that we'll start putting on the map here. Um, there's a couple that um, I'll talk about. So I hang out at the Silver Lake headquarters in Silver Lake. Do you guys, anyone familiar with the Silver Lake headquarters? A few people. Uh, so, um, at Social Engine, which they're a Techstar alum, um, they, they started Silver Lake headquarters along with Greg Cohn, who used to be in charge of uh, games at Yahoo, and he's doing his own uh, startup now. I think it's called Burner, 
where you can, um, I think it's based on the Twilio API, so you can get a phone number when you're done with it, you can get rid of it. Um, so they're, them and a couple others, um, including Basecamp, are based in the Silver Lake headquarters. And other startups you know, that are in that area are welcome to hang out there too. I sometimes hang out there. They also do pitch, like pitch competitions and stuff. Um, so Goodreads, you guys familiar with, uh, I, I didn't know Goodreads was actually in LA. You guys familiar with like Felicia Day and Bonnie Burton and Veronica Belmont? They have this book called, called um, <laughs> Vaginal Fantasy. And I'm a part of that book club and we meet on Goodreads. So I thought that was kind of cool. I, did, I didn't realize that they were based in Los Angeles. Basically all it is is uh, if you're reading a book, you can give recommendations on the book and have discussions about the book. So we read like steam, you know, steamy, or steampunks and sci-fi books and they have like little love stories in them. So that's Goodreads and um, that book club in particular. Um, and then Neighbor Goods. So I think Mickey spoke here last year uh, from Neighbor Goods. Um, so she's in downtown LA now. I thought she used to be in Glendale, um, but it's a place where you can go and share, um, like, or, or kind of let neighbors borrow stuff that you have. So if you have like a ladder or I don't know, like a sewing machine or something like that, then you can and you can let your neighbors borrow it off of neighbor goods. Um, oh, the other one that I really like that just uh, made uh, I think they just raised like a million or a million and a half uh, dog vacay. So if you guys have dogs, this is one that you guys might want to check out. So basically, you can um, open your home to and, and babysit a dog for someone. And people are charging like between 25 to 50 bucks a day or something like that. And so instead of having to send your dog to a kennel, you can actually um, let them go to someone's lovely home and hang out and snuggle in bed with them. I don't know totally how I feel about this, about vetting these people. Um, but my friend, uh, Ted Reingold, who's, uh, he started Dogster and Catster and actually sold that company. Dogster and Catster is a social network for people that have dogs and cats but in, in San Francisco. But he sold it. And he, he um, is one of the investors in Dog Vacay. So I figured, you know, that's probably an interesting one to, to watch. Um, so I think that that's the ones I, I wanted to talk about. Did you guys have your, the ones in the tech startups? Did you guys make your stickies? Did you guys write on them? Yay. OK. So maybe if you can go collect those, that would be great. I don't know where I'm at with time at all. I have no clue. OK, good. So we'll collect those, and then we'll stick them up. So do you guys have any startups in LA that you think are really rad that you've been following? Tonks. Thank you. Thank you. So um, we've been uh, subscribing to Tonks Coffee for, I think, since he started the subscription service. So we have a thing of coffee beans delivered to our door. I don't know. Is it a monthly? I forget. Twice a month? Okay. Um, delicious. He's an excellent, ex excellent roaster. Um, so Sean is part of Coffee Common, and we've learned how to actually properly do pour over coffee and stuff. So. I, I totally recommend that if you're going to be part of a subscription coffee service, you understand how to do pour over and stuff because I think you'll enjoy it that much more. You can go online and learn how to do it. Um, so yes, I think that Tonks is a great one. So what, what do we have here? Zarly? Who's Zarly? What does Zarly do? It's an uh, online marketplace for Wait, what do you mean? Hey, that's cool. And you're in Santa Monica. So we started out, uh, we won a startup meeting about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They abandoned us. Can I ask Fair. quickly why you're deciding to move to San Francisco? Uh, the people we raised from, a lot of the VCs up there are going to be in San Francisco. Right. I mean, that is a thing, right? Like, a lot of people are pressured to move. And it kind of bums me out because I feel like, you know, why, aren't you, why can't you give back to the city you're in and the economy that you're in, like why do you have to go somewhere else? You know why though? Because the VCs are lazy and they have to go to Miami and they don't want to have to fly. Yes. They want to drive or they get on the train. Yeah. So it's better for them to go to the city where they're more comfortable. Gotcha. Well, 
Good for you. I'm sad if you're leaving. Um, okay, we have, is it SEP or SEP? SEP. And what's that? Um, we're helping you connect to the Joint Weekend for the American Airlines. Oh, that's very nice. Are you going to stay in Santa Monica? Yes. Excellent. Good stuff. What do you feel about the Sil Silicon Beach? Do you consider yourself part of Silicon Beach? I'd say so. Okay. You're connecting Latinos to the American workforce. Yeah, exactly. We're vetting, collecting documentation, and then providing a portal for folks to find uh, work. So you're finding a portal for the Latino workforce to find work. Right. Well, for uh, people who need work done to find the Latino workforce. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So people who need work done to find Latino workforce to do that work for them. Okay, we have little crowd, little, or sorry, life crowd, life crowd. Where's life crowd? What does life crowd do? Life crowd um, is a social activities marketplace and we're based in Santa Monica, but have launched in San Francisco, the OC in San Diego. And our pitch is sort of Facebook connects Whoa. people. I think you get to keep that. They're like five bucks at the store, right? Okay. Um, so Facebook connects people online. We connect people offline. Um, we have both hosts and, and crowders. So it's anything from casual get-togethers around sushi rolling or learning how to bake Girl Scout cookies um, to happy hours, mixology. So all sorts of events, you're connecting people who want to put on an event with people who want to join in on that event. And it could be something as you know, simple like let's get together and, I don't know, learn how to do coffee pour over. Exactly. I love it. Respite from computer screens and the bar scene. Get out there in IRL. Okay, I love it. Okay. Life crowd. Okay. Uh, bounty, bounty boy? Bounty boy? Bounty by in Marina Del Rey? Um... It's kind of similar to Zarly, um, except it's in the bike space, so you say what kind of bike you're looking for and then they get you in touch with it. So you're looking for a bike, and it'll help you find a bike. I like it. Simple. Okay, and then uh, I know I'm running out of time, so you guys are going to have to go really fast. Um, Stack Social in Venice, boy. Yeah. Great accelerator. Oh, microphone. Great accelerator in uh, Venice, and we're dead simple e-commerce integration for technology publishers. So we work with sites like CNET and get them great deals on software, like limited time, flash sale deals, and uh, then they get a cut of every sale that they do, and so it helps them earn extra revenue on top of just running ads on their site. And that's Stack Social. Yep. All right, cool. Uh, and then we've got Check2, two. Check2, two. Check2, two. Westwood. I was wrong. It's a bad idea, though. <laughs> Feedback wasn't working. <laughs> um, talk loud. Basically, Check2 is a uh, version of those punch cards that you get in whenever you walk into a restaurant and you get a punch every time you visit, uh, but on your smartphone so you can never lose it. And you can, uh, the business owners also get demographic, anonymous demographic information on their customer base. I have so many of those punch cards. That's awesome. So it's a, a virtual punch card and you have it on, it's an app on your phone. Uh, not just, a, it's a web app, it's a normal app, and it's also via you know, text message. Text message, app and on a website. Lovely, okay. And we've got me, who's me in Hollywood? This is me. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just quit my agency gig to learn to code full time. So. You're going back to learn code full time? Yeah, because I was a founder and that was the biggest struggle that I couldn't just prototype ideas. And where are you learning to code? Uh, my place. <laughs> With books? I'm in uh, like Jelly LA, so I'm gonna probably bounce around co-working spaces. Oh, okay, cool. You should come out to the uh, Silver Lake headquarters. Come, come hang out. Okay. Okay, and then we got um, Zest Cash in Hollywood. Zest Cash. Okay. Uh, we use machine learning to make small loans to people that don't have access to traditional credit markets. People that are underbanked. People that can't get credit cards. Micro loans. Uh, micro loans. Uh, it's for profit. Oh. I mean, like, the misconception is that well, we So you don't have to do you don't have to be like a nonprofit or sort to get these micro loans. It can be if you're running a company. Uh, okay. Grow with capital, not okay. Okay. And then um, 
Mobile Roadie. Oh, I know Mobile Roadie from when I was at Topspin. Where's Mobile Roadie? Hey, Mobile Roadie. Uh, we're a uh, web CMS for building native apps and managing native apps. And it's most for, it's for musicians, right? Uh, no, it's for anybody. Anybody? It was originally for musicians. Yes. Yeah. It's more just for marketing purposes. Okay. A nation builder. I met nation builder that Kai came out to my lady tech group, by the way, called Lady Tacos. So if you're a lady into tech, hardware, software, we meet once a month. Nation Builder, tell us. Uh, Nation Builder is a tool for running political campaigns and nonprofits. Uh, everything you need website, donations, email, voter data. It's aimed for people who only want to pay like $30 a month. And we are DC funded by Andrew Smartwoods in the Bay Area and we stayed in LA. Yes. I know um, Carlin, who's the president of Crash Space, is very excited about Nation Builder. So, uh, Pink Cloud 9 in downtown LA. <laughs> We're a collective of uh, wedding coordinators that provide pays to go advice uh, to DIY couples. Okay, so you're a collective of wedding planners that pay as you go advice for people getting married. Okay, cool. I'm almost done. I know you want me to hurry. Okay. Uh, make TV in downtown. Oh, I can't hear. There's a helicopter. Live, live video editing and production tool. Life video live video editing. Live. 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 live video and editing production tool. Fabulous. Okay. Um, spontaneous Michael Levin. Hi, Michael. It's a, a sorry. Events going on right now. Okay. What neighborhood are you in? Sorry. What neighborhood are you in on the map? Oh, uh, Hollywood. Okay. Okay. So I did I did I miss anybody? Did I miss someone? Spire. Yeah, we make uh, APIs for developers, so you can write client side applications, and not really worry about coding the back end. So who are you? Spire. I oh, know. What's your name? Jason. Okay. Because are there any other Spire people here? Because they're helping me at the Youth Hack Jam on June 23rd, which, by the way, I'm looking for more volunteers. And they're, they have a whole bunch of people from Spire coming to help me out. Okay, so I hope I got anybody. And did I miss anybody? Yeah, about half the people in the crowd who are not at startup companies, but perhaps proudly at small businesses here in Los Angeles. Good. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I think my time is up. But I just, we built this map. You know, we're not just in Santa Monica. We're in all parts of LA, you know, as a startup. I know I didn't do co-working spaces, there's tons of them, but they're all over the place too. There's money, there's communities, there's stuff happening. So we should take a picture of this and put it online. I mean, I don't know, what's Mucker Labs? Mucker Labs is a, the incubator that we actually launched out of. Oh, okay. um, we were there first class, just finished. Um, there's nine startups that came out of that. They're based in Santa Monica, okay. um, and they are looking for people for their next class. So if oh. you have a startup idea, you should look at Mucker Labs. Okay, Mucker Labs incubator, they have applications that are, they're taking now. Okay. Really great investors, great workspace. Cool. Okay, so... Um, I'll put this online. I'll, we're going to do something on represent.la where we're going to post this stuff. And um, I hope that we stay in touch because I want to know what you guys are doing. Okay, So thanks, guys. Have a good day.